like Lab 3. First, browse to the location where you have saved Lab 2. Copy Lab 2, paste, rename Lab 3. Open your Lab 3 folder. Make a new folder called Pages and put both web pages in the Pages folder. Make a new folder. Call it Images. Log in to Desire to Learn. Choose Content. Find the course files. And for week 5, download and save yellow underscore fabric dot GIF and pink underscore fabric dot GIF. Let's save both of these in the images folder. I've now saved yellow underscore fabric and pink underscore fabric in my images folder. I also need to download and save an image of myself. Now I have three files in my images folder. If I go back or up, I also have the two files in my pages folder. Let's begin by editing page one. Right-click, open with, and choose Notepad. As shown in your directions, we are adding a new attribute, background. All attributes are followed by an equal sign and two quotation marks. Now we are working in the Pages folder, so we have to get out of the Pages folder in order to see the image. From here, we would click Back as our first step, to code back dot dot slash. From here we can open the images folder. To code opening the images folder, simply name the folder. Now we see pink underscore fabric dot gif. Name the file. Pink underscore fabric dot gif. Save your changes. You could also use Control S. Now I will go back one step and back down to Pages and double click Pages to open it in my browser. I can now see the pink background. I'll open up page two. This is what we will be working on next. Back in the Pages folder, I'll right click open with notepad. Again we'll be adding background equals and two quotation marks. Between the two quotation marks never a space to get out of the pages folder dot dot slash. To open the images folder name the folder then name the file yellow underscore fabric dot gif. Control S, switch to the browser, F5, or refresh. I now have my background. I need to get back to Notepad. I'd also like to add my picture. So right after the link for page one, I'll add another break. To create an image, as we've learned before, IMG, the attribute is SRC, followed by an equal sign. There's always two quotation marks after an equal sign and a greater than sign. The same logic will apply. 
We are currently in page two. Page two is saved in the pages folder. To exit the pages folder, we use back to code back dot dot slash. I now need to open the images folder. I code that with the name of the folder slash. Now I can name the file. Notice all my files are lowercase, no spaces. Now I need to add a space and an ALT, alternative text. There's always an equal sign after an attribute. There's always two quotation marks following an equal sign. And then I'll put picture of Craig. Save my changes, switch to that browser, and refresh. If the image is too large or too small, you could add height or width. Again, add a space. Width equals two quotation marks, and I'll put in the pixel value of 144 pixels. Save my change, switch to the browser, and refresh. We will learn shortly about height and width and the best way to scale an image.